Thank you so much for joining me. So for today, we're going to start straight off. We're going to start off with the Benefit Air Patrol. And I'm just going to be putting this all over my lids. Um, it's a thin, even layer. And the reason I do this is so that the eyeshadow can last much longer through the day. And also, it makes the colors of the eyeshadow actually pop out even more. Then I'm going in with my NYX uh, Nude Matte Collection palette. And I'm going in with this pretty shade and I'm putting it all over that Air Patrol. Um, this is just to sort of set the Air Patrol on the lids, so it makes blending much easier as well. I'm going in with my Freedom System palette from Inglot. Um, this is two shadows that I just put together. It's this stunning brown shade and this beautiful red shade. I mean, look how pigmented this is. So I'm going to be going in with that brown shade in the crease and I'm using a um, sort of a blending brush from Real Techniques. This is a very pigmented eyeshadow, so before I pick up any product, I make sure that I blend it out quite well. Going back into the Freedom palette, I'm going to go in with this beautiful red shade and I'm taking a crease brush from Real Techniques and I'm just applying that to the outer V of my eyelid and I'm blending it into the crease as well. I'm also taking that buffing brush as well and I'm blending everything out to make sure that there's no like harsh lines or anything like that. I'm going in with my Steeler in the Light palette. I mean, look how beautiful all of these colors are. I'm gonna be going in with the shade Sunset, which is a beautiful, coppery, um, burnt kind of a shadow, but it is very shimmery and very pigmented. So I'm just applying this with a flat brush from MAC, and because it is very pigmented and very buttery, um, I'm not really applying that much to the lid. Look how well that eyeshadow blends in with the two shades from my Freedom System palette. I have been obsessed with this eye look, you guys, you don't understand. <laughs> so then I'm just buffing um, everything in, blending and blending, making sure there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going in again with a palette in the shade Sandstone. It's just a matte brown shade. I mean, you can use any shadow that you want. And I'm going to be taking a blending brush from Essence and I'm just going to be putting that shadow in the crease and I'm blending it out again with a blending brush. Then I'm going back into that palette with that beautiful brown shade and I'm going to take that color all across my bottom lash line just making sure that everything is blended in properly. Going back in with that color sunset, I'm doing the very same on my bottom lash line but I'm using a very thin brush from Real Techniques and I'm applying it sort of to the inner corners to the middle of the bottom lash line. Oh, then I'm going in with my very favorite, very much favorite <laughs> eyeshadow. It's called Kitten. So this is a super pigmented um, sort of like a highlight color I can't explain it but I use this in my inner corners as you can see I'm doing here but I also use it as a highlight sometimes so if I want like a super popping highlight I will actually use this as well then I'm taking a black eyeliner from smudge 
and I'm just tight lining my eyes. You'll notice that I actually struggled to do one of my eyes because I don't know, they're just like super sensitive and I was so worried that I was gonna like poke my eyeball. So yeah, I'm going in with my Catrice uh, bronzing powder and I'm just gonna be bronzing up my face uh, seeing that we are done with the eye look now. Yeah, so this is just to give my face some more dimension, some more color so I don't look like a blank canvas. I tend to um, bronze up my forehead as well as my nose and then I also bring it down to the area underneath my bottom lip just to create a little bit more dimension and give more color to the face. I'm going in with Yardley London in Canterbury Bells. This is such a beautiful blush. It's like the perfect mix of pink and peach. So this is perfect for my skin shade. So if you are kind of similar to my skin, my skin tone, this will definitely work for you. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and then bringing it up to blend it in with my bronzing powder. I'm going in with Girl Meets Pull from Benefit. It's a, you can say like a liquid highlight. And I'm just going to be applying this to my cheekbones, my brow bones, uh, Cupid's bow. And I also put it on the tip of my nose. I just think it looks cute. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing that quickly. I recently found this product from Inglot. It's um, a product that's actually going to be launched now soon. It is a trio of highlighters and it is so pigmented. I use this as a highlight. I use it for um, eyeshadows because there is, as you can see, there is like a darker shade. So you can use that as a crease color and then the two lighter shades as like a lid color. But yeah, you can see, look how pigmented it is as a highlight. Like, oh, I haven't stopped using this since I got it. It's beautiful. And you'll notice that I'm actually putting that powder um, highlighter on top of the liquid highlighter. So what this does is it actually sets the liquid highlighter so that it can actually pop like so much more. It, it just becomes super pigmented. It also ensures that the highlight will stay on much longer throughout the day. taking a local brand this is me and use it's just a fixing spray and it smells amazing so I'm just fixing my makeup making sure that there is nothing that's gonna be coming off of my face <laughs> yeah I'm going in with my Estee Lauder lip liner you guys I have used this thing till it's death that's why I haven't even showed you like a like a little picture or like a video clip of it by itself simply because I've used it so much so yeah I just decided to rather go in with the LA Girl uh, lip liner and yeah I'm taking a new product this is the Rimmel London uh, lipstick in my nude it kind of reminds me of Velvet Teddy but more of a shiny kind of a version whereas Velvet Teddy is obviously a matte lipstick this one isn't it's got like a really moisturizing texture to it so yeah, that is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did, give it a great thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye guys!